Hey everybody, it's Michelle Stegmeyer from Purpose Bread Labs. Um, I wanted to do just a brief rundown on our more um, advanced or more challenging things for the puppies. We usually get the puppies out at about between five and six weeks old on these things. Um, this, and I don't pay a lot of money for any of my stuff. I either have it built from just scraps um, or I go to like those, oh, the resale stores where they tear down trailers and old buildings and stuff and they they salvage the uh, like the cabinets and the flooring and everything and then resell it so this this is just a um it's a shower liner that you'd put like in a mobile home or a an rv and as you can see it's it can be kind of noisy uh, we put noisy toys in there after the pups are used to it and then we'll actually close this up and that keeps the, the sound inside. Gotta have tunnels. I don't know where this came from, but we got this corrugated tunnel. This was on clearance. Puppies will be able to crawl up on that as steps or as a steep ramp. It does have um, some footing for them. My facility manager here made these for me. I mean, guys, look how easy this stuff is to make. I mean, that's all he did. And we'll put slick flooring. This is kind of a, a sandpaper type paint, feeling paint. Uh, but we're going to put slick flooring and carpet and all different kinds of things on that. Uh, these pools, what we do is there's three of them. Uh, just throw them down like that. And we put high value treats on there. And they have to crawl on them to get them. This is, uh, of course, this is going to need rebuilt pretty soon. The puppies are starting to chew on it. This is actually pretty awesome. I love that. But again, look, look how easy that is to build. Got some ramps for driving a motorcycle or an uh, ATV or something up into the bed of a truck. But as you can see, you can see through it. It's got uh, texture. We'll have the puppies crawl up this, come in here and dig around for their high value treats. We do the same thing with straw. We'll use this and fill that with straw and they'll have to dig around in the straw to get their treats. This is a favorite of the puppies. It has a non-slip paint on it. They love this. Once they get on this and, and start playing on it together, this is the kind of their go-to obstacle. They love to get on this and play. But I ordered this. It's a United Kennel Club agility obstacle, but just kind of showing you if you want to build one, that's how you can build it. It's pretty pretty simple more of these uh, these I'm going to find some way to fasten together so they don't slip apart uh, and the, the I'll have a way the puppies will walk across this this actually is a big piece of styrofoam it blew in my yard a couple days ago from the neighbors construction and I don't know about you guys but when you're trying to do sound environmentals for your puppies you don't look at this as trash this is opportunity so that's a big piece of styrofoam there these are those I, I don't know what they're called they're not buoys I don't think but when you park your boat you throw it over the side um, so it doesn't hit the dock but last year I had them hanging in like a, a group and the puppies would go through them this year I want to try something different I'm trying to think of a way to have them be like this to where they won't separate and the puppy's feet fall through and I'm just going to have a path a narrow path for them to walk on and then eventually I'd like to suspend it from the ceiling maybe a foot off the floor and see if I can't get them to walk on it while it's suspended um, I, you can never have too many noisy plastic bags hanging from the ceiling or whatever okay guys if you're raising puppies whether it's service dog work or detection dog work, you gotta have mannequins. 
You just have to. And I learned that the hard way, the very first service dog that we placed out of here. We did not get used to mannequins. They'd never seen one. And we actually had to wash her because we could not get her over her fear of mannequins in stores. That was a pretty bad mistake. But you learn from it and you go on. Oh, we do have treadmills here for the older dogs. When it's really nasty outside, uh, it's too cold to swim them, whatever. We'll just walk them on the treadmill. And this is something we'll put on the lowest setting for the puppies. And I'll put their, their kibble on it and they'll get up on it and they'll be eating and walking around while it's on its very lowest setting. Can't have enough sweepers, leaf blowers, things like that going while the pups are playing. So we always have those in here. This is one of my favorites. All it is, as you can tell, is just a cheap tarp on a five, an old steel five by five gate. So I always have it laying flat on the floor at first and the puppies will run on it. But I'm going to start like, after they're used to it, I'm gonna start suspending it like a couple inches off the floor and then keep raising it as they grow. And um, pretty soon, I mean, by the time the dogs are five to six months old, they should be jumping up on it. I can get it three or four feet off the floor and they'll go up after a tennis ball while it's kind of swaying. And I'm pretty excited about that. So anyway, this is our kind of our more advanced. Don't mind the mess. I'm actually just, I had drug everything out to disinfect it and get ready to set up for the, the next group of pups. So looks a little bit of a mess right now and that's okay.